Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here, and today we're going to be going through 10 ways you can get down from any building, roof, or wall safely and how to train for it. And I'm actually going to be doing 10 additional tutorials on a separate channel going in depth on each of these moves. And in this video, we're just going to be going through each of them quickly just so you can see what all of them are. But if you want in depth tutorials on each of them, then check out the links in the description below. And before we jump into them, I also wanted to let you guys know that YouTube has just released this new feature where you can now, as a fan or audience, sponsor YouTubers. And so I just set my channel up to do that so you can go to my main channel page and click on the sponsor next to the subscribe button you can be a part of my live streams that I'll be doing once a month where you can ask me questions request live tutorials and just hang out whatever you want from me during those live streams I will offer that so if that's something you're interested in be sure to check it out if not then you can still just stay a subscriber to support my channel by just watching the videos I'll be uploading for free every week here on Ronnie Street Stunts. So now that we got that out of the way, let's jump into the 10 ways to get down from a roof. Okay, so the first move we're going to do to get down from a wall or roof or building is just the jump and parkour roll, which is the most obvious straightforward one. You're just gonna jump off of something high, land and do a roll. Now in learning this, just make sure that you progress into it and have a proper parkour roll mastered and you just slowly work your way up higher and higher. But otherwise, I'm gonna demonstrate it and you can check out the full tutorial on my other channel. Alright, so this next one is if you can't just take a straight jump because it's too high, you can see this wall is pretty dang high and I don't want to just straight jump this onto concrete, you can do what's called the turn to wall hang drop. And all this is going to be is that I do kind of like a turn vault, but just on the flat edge to a hang and then I'm just going to lower myself to a hang and then from there I'm going to drop 180 and then do a rollout. And so the main trick to this is that you just want to make sure that you're able to push out away from the wall so you get a little bit of momentum to roll out and that you also are in control as you're lowering yourself and that you have the strength to do it because you don't want to be lowering yourself and then have your hands peel off or you drop too fast that you can't control the landing. So I would practice this on a lower wall so that you can get familiar with how it feels before you try doing it on anything higher. So another way we can get down from something high is to use cat leaps. Now it's not going to be the fastest way down, but if you're wanting to avoid high drops or impacts, sometimes there's just perfect ledges set up where you can just bounce back and forth doing cat leaps or tic tacs to make yourself all the way down. So basically, just make sure you have a solid cat leap down, you know how to do it and how to do a cat to cat, and you'll be able to do this move. So this next one isn't so much going to help you take huge drops, but it will be a really fun, cool way to take drops if there's a wall in front of you where you're jumping from. So right here, I'm going to be doing what's called a wall pounce. I'm going to be jumping from this wall, hitting this wall, just slapping the wall with my hands and feet, and then dropping. And it's not a huge drop, so it's a good spot to kind of practice it so I can get familiar with it. And uh, the main thing is just you want to hit it kind of like a cat leap, but since you have nothing to grab onto, you're just going to be pushing with your hands to kind of absorb the impact and then dropping away just like you would from a hang drop. All right, so another way you can get down from a building or wall is if you have another lower ledge or wall to jump to, then you're doing a precision drop. Now these are more difficult than just your usual precision jump because you're not just aiming your jump, you're actually falling in the air and have to make sure you're falling at the right trajectory to land precisely on a ledge that'll get you to a lower point to then drop again. And so in this case, I'm going from up here down to this ledge, it's a pretty decent drop with a decent gap. So I like to just crouch down to get down low to make my center of gravity a little bit lower and then as I jump towards it, I'm just going to try and aim my feet in the air as I'm falling, try to hit it right, and then land it. So for a full tutorial on this move, be sure to check out the link in the description. Alright, our next wall drop move is actually going to be a wall slide. You may recognize this famous wall from the Assassin's Creed meets parkour in real life. The very first one I did, I turn vault over this rail and then slide down this wall. Now doing a wall slide can vary uh, the impact based on how steep it is, how far you're falling, and so if it's a super steep wall like this one, it won't take a lot of the impact away, but it will take a little bit of the impact away. The main thing you want to know is that as you're sliding, you want to be sliding facing away from the wall so that at the last second before you go to hit the ground, you can push out and kind of do a little jump away from the wall to go into the room. <laughs> Alright, so this next one is a fun one, also a little bit scary, 
um, but we can start it out in a way where it's not scary and I wouldn't recommend trying this from a level higher than you're comfortable falling from but what this is is the parking garage descent using a hang drop to precision so basically what you're going to do is go from a parking garage level usually just the second one up and if it's near a hill you can find a spot where it pretty much goes to flat ground so you're not doing like a sketchy drop and then you're just going to be hanging and then go to a hang from that first level and then slowly swing your feet out and then as your feet are swinging back in is when you kind of let go to land your feet on the ledge and then catch yourself in a cat leap or in this case because the ceiling is so low I have to do it with one foot so I can catch myself into a crane to keep myself on the wall um, but that's basically how you can do it you can check out my tutorial on this where I go more in depth so you know how to do it safely but this is the parking garage descent so sometimes you might just want to get down from a ledge fast but there's an obstacle in the way and you're not too concerned with how high the drop is that's when you do a vault drop and the beautiful thing with the vault drop is there's hundreds of vaults you can do off the ledge the main thing you want to think about when doing vault drops is that you don't ever throw your body too hard to get your feet back under you because normally on flat ground when you're used to doing vaults like a speed vault for example you throw your body sideways and then you bring it back down if you do it the exact same way off something high then you might throw it too hard and keep rotating the opposite direction and over rotate and land on your side so when doing it from height you want to make sure you just do it soft enough that your body is going to level out in time to land on the ground and you're not going to overdo it same thing with the kong you don't want to be leaning back too much coming out or leaning forward too much it's actually good to lean forward a little bit on the kong so that you can get forward on the roll because kongs are a bit more rough on impact trying to get into rolls um, but those are just some things to keep in mind when doing this move. All right, we also have the pipe slide, which is when you're somewhere and there just happens to be a pipe, you can use the pipe to kind of muscle your way down and let your feet just kind of slide, or you can walk it, whatever feels more comfortable. You can kind of experiment. When you're experimenting, don't try it at the top of a building. You can just try it just a little ways up and slowly let yourself down like that, or you can try crawling. You know, make sure you just know how slick your shoes are on the wall before you actually attempt it so that you know, you know what you're getting yourself into. All right, so maybe you've mastered how to drop down and you know how to do some flips. Well, now it's flipping down off of high ledges or roofs or buildings specifically the front flip. The front flip is actually going to be the most efficient way to drop from a high drop if you want to do a big drop with a flip because I would actually even say the front flip is more efficient going into a roll than just a normal straight drop is because you have rotational momentum from the front flip it actually throws you into the roll very naturally and just makes it a lot less impact on your legs doing a front flip but the front flip is more dangerous to do in general so it's not necessarily the best idea to always do so once again you'll want to learn a front flip have that mastered and slowly work your way up with drops and have the roll mastered and do the diving front flip into a drop landing so there you have it 10 different ways to drop down jump down or descend any wall or building hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this one and once again like i mentioned you can now help be a sponsor of my channel and support the videos I'm doing and in return you can be a part of my live monthly streaming live tutorials and question and answers and whatever else we want to do with that so I'm looking forward to doing that looking forward to doing more videos for you guys let me know in the comments if you have any more ideas for these 10 different trick ideas and uh, and I'll do my best to get them out to you you can check out the full tutorials on my second channel I'll be uploading more regular like day-to-day -day simple tutorials on that channel so be sure to subscribe to that one and that's all I got for you guys today so thanks for watching